Charleston and Victoria. And I'll add uh, Port Arthur in there because they, they've taken a big hit as well. I would like to ask each of you San Antonio organizations to communicate with your parents about collecting items for donation and bring them out to the event center this Saturday. So even if you have certified, they're going to be doing this out there at the event center. Uh, Project Love 24. Uh, go out there and help them out. Bring some, some of these items that they're looking for. It's an opportunity for San Antonio to help the relief efforts uh, for those that are desperately in need right now that have been affected by this storm. Uh, let's be tough and strong. Get out there and do this. Some of the things that they're looking for uh, to be donated, uh, of course, are your typical clu- you know, clothing, uh, sweaters, sweatshirts, socks, um, any packaged foods, toothbrushes, toothpaste, ready-to-eat foods, uh, first aid supplies, uh, feminine products, towels, pillows, blankets, diapers, formula, um, hand sanitizer, shampoo, anything that you think that you would need in an emergency, uh, that's something that you would probably want to bring out there and assist them um, with what they're doing. It's a great cause. Uh, a lot of other people doing a lot of th- other things. All social media is, is just riddled with it. Um, but th- this is, I think, they're, they're directly targeting uh, those that are affected of the type of family. So a great opportunity for us to really be a part of what's happening in this relief effort. Irving Ballas out of Dallas sending prayers. They mentioned the Addis Coast Aggies sending prayers. Everybody jumping on the Facebook Live. So thank you very much. Uh, for what you guys are doing. Uh, looking forward to the season. I, I, I think, you know, one of the things that I th- is going to help the recovery is going to help particularly the kids um, that may be listening now or, 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 you know, later on. It's hard to get out there and practice right now with the fields in the condition they are in Houston, maybe in the Victoria as well, um, having those issues. But uh, one thing that I know they're looking forward to, and that is the season. And I've already gotten one question. I, 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 uh, I get this regardless. This this happens regardless. Everybody wants the schedule. With everything that's gone on, and I'm sure some schedules have been worked on and maybe even completed, um, but we haven't gotten everything out yet. I haven't received any schedules yet. Uh, there may be others that may have gotten them. Uh, I'm pretty sure West Texas probably has at least their first week schedule. Um, they know who's playing. I haven't gotten anything. So I can't tell you who's playing who. For week one, even the week coming up, not this weekend, but the following weekend where we get started again here for San Antonio, Dallas, uh, Austin, Colleen and Houston um, and the Rio Grande Valley. As they have all been backed up one week, we'll start at that point. Uh, But I expect next Wednesday we should have everything in, uh, in order and ready to go. And we will definitely give you anything and everything that we can that we've got when it comes to the schedules. Clean Cowboys in the house, clean Trojans in the house. So it, 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 it's just something that, that when you think about what's happened, so many people involved, so many people affected. Um, I know we've seen some of our, our members of Taifa. I, I've seen them on Facebook. They're being rescued by boat. Um, big concern in the Cypress area for Houston right now is the levees. Uh, the levees are having issues. They're 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 weakened. Um, they're they're very stressed right now with all the water. They're trying to do a controlled release, but if those levees break, like what happened in Port Arthur, uh, we're talking about more massive flooding. So we try to keep our minds on what's important right now, and that is our friends and family um, in Typha down in the Houston area, Victoria, uh, affected by the hurricane force winds. Um, People have family members in the Rockport area, uh, Aransas Pass, Port A, Corpus Christi, all up along that area, um, also being affected. So we're going to step away here in a little bit, and then we're going to bring on uh, Lisa Connell, who's going to we're going to give her a call, uh, get her on the line, and uh, she's going to let us know what Typha is doing in this effort to uh, assist the, our organizations and uh, give you more information on how you could possibly be a part of that. Uh, so keep it here. We'll be right back here on, on Typha Radio. Joey T, son of Mike and Patty Teague and longtime Typha members, was born with cystic fibrosis. Despite this, Joey went to school, graduated with honors from Judson High School, and attended the University of Texas at San Antonio for three years, all while struggling to stay healthy. Joey also coached in Typha with the Live Oak Jaguars from 1998 to 2006 and was a husband and father. 
Joey passed away in 2007. The Joey T. Type of Volunteer of the Year Award was established to recognize and bring attention to the many volunteers who helped make Typha one of the premier leagues in Texas and the nation through heartfelt passion, enthusiastic commitment, and a contagious spirit, all of which epitomized Joey T. and all that he gave to youth sports. For more information or to nominate a volunteer from your organization for the Joey T. Type of Volunteer of the Year Award, send your nominee's name, contact information, and a short bio as to what makes them a great volunteer. You can send the information to helpdesk at typha.com. That's helpdesk at typha.com. The Joey T. Type of Volunteer of the Year Award. Recognize your volunteer. Points, cash, gear, sports. With a Dick Scorecard, you earn points on all your purchases and get 3% back in rewards and access to exclusive deals and events. It's simple. Points lead to cash to buy gear so you can play more sports. Get your Dick Scorecard and start earning reward certificates today. Every season starts at Dick's. All Star. All Star. All Star Inflatables, a premier custom manufacturer of cold air inflatables. And they know what big time Texas football is all about. They specialize in team spirit tunnels, inflatable helmets, mascots, bounce houses, and much, much more. They also do repairs. No job is too big or too small for All Star Inflatables. With over 35 years of combined experience, their goal is to create, design, and manufacture top quality inflatables at affordable prices. All-Star Inflatables is proud to manufacture 100% in Texas, 100% made in the USA. All-Star Inflatables is a proud sponsor of the Texas Youth Football and Cheer Association. Typha organizations, let them know you're with Typha and get 10% off. See their ad at typha.com and check them out at www.allstarinflatables.com. That's all-starinflatables.com. Or call their sales department at 888 888- 349-4386 or email them at sales at allstarinflatables.com Allstar Inflatables If you can imagine it, they can inflate it Rock Solid A rock solid soft shell helmet is the first helmet a kid will ever wear It enhances the experience and allows kids to feel like big time football players After their NFL careers, the Rock Solid team was built on the powerful idea that by delivering gear that promotes a better experience, they can help to preserve and grow the game of football. Rock Solid is a proud sponsor of the Texas Youth Football Association and the Typha Radio Player of the Game Award. For more information on how you can get your Rock Solid soft shell helmet and other great gear and apparel from this authentic football company, go to www.liverocksolid.com. That's liverocksolid.com. Or call 855-282-8880. Email rocksolid at info at liverocksolid.com. Rock Solid. Football is for everyone. We got you. Hi, Kenny Long here, and I want to talk to you about rain gutters. With the recent heavy rains in South Texas, many of us have come to realize that the rain gutters on our homes either don't work or simply just don't exist, destroying flower beds and just creating a mess. Let me tell you about Curtis McCluskey with Advanced Rain Control. He is your go-to guy for seamless gutters, cleanouts, and repairs. Serving San Antonio and the surrounding areas with over 25 years experience, Curtis will get you a quality rain control gutter system on your home at a quality price. Contact Curtis at 210-863-9881 for your free quote today. That's 210-863-9881. Don't get caught in the rain without a quality gutter system on your home. From Advanced Rain Control, call Curtis today at 210-863-9881 and tell him Kenny Long sent you. Kenny Long here with Typha Radio, and I'm here to tell you that Typha and Chipotle Restaurants have come together for a touchdown. Here is how you can score. Typha organizations can set up a date to fundraise at participating Chipotle restaurants located in Texas. And Chipotle will donate 50% of the proceeds to your organization. That's half of the proceeds. Just go to www.chipotle.com forward slash fundraisers and start your fundraiser today. Hey, cheer squads, that means you too. That's two. Count two opportunities to fundraise for your organization. That's a two-point conversion. But wait, coming in October, Chipotle will be hosting a Typha Day. Coaches and or athletes. 
on that day, show up in your uniform at your participating Texas Chipotle restaurant and get a buy one, get one free. That's right, buy one, get one free. Watch the Typha website at www.typha.com for dates and info. Typha and Texas Chipotle Restaurant. Everybody scores and everybody wins. GTM Sportswear. GTM Sportswear. Look like a team, train like a team. GTM Sportswear can outfit your entire team with custom jerseys, uniforms with amazing new sublimations to choose from, warm-ups, and much, much more. Get your team practice wear with up to 20% off. They even have great fan apparel for that team spirit look. GTM Sportswear is a proud sponsor of the Texas Youth Football and Cheer Association. Need uniforms for your cheerleaders? They got those too. Get some of the best prices on all apparel with their amazing partnership with Typha. Just go to gtmsportswear.com and get outfitted for the season. Once again, that's gtmsportswear.com. Or call Melanie Miller at 785-249-5343 for more information. GTM Sportswear. Love what you do, wear what you love. Monarch Trophy Studio in San Antonio, a leader in the awards and recognition industry since 1972. Their mission is to provide their customers with a wide variety of high-quality, competitively priced awards. They have awards for sports, scholastics, employment, you name it, they've got it. Trophies, plaques, badges, pins, and much, much more. With the advancements in technology and the internet, Monarch Trophy Studio has quickly become one of the leading premier online award retailers. Monarch Trophy Studio is a proud sponsor of the Texas Youth Football and Cheer Association and proud provider of all TIFA awards, including the Dale Morgan Trophy. Visit Monarch Trophy Studio in their 30,000 square foot state-of-the-art production facility located at Highway 281 in Thousand Oaks in San Antonio, Texas. Contact them toll-free at 1-800-364-7903 or by email at sales at mtsawards.com. Check them out on their interactive website at www.mtsawards.com. That's mtsawards.com. Monarch Trophy Studio in San Antonio. Come get your trophy at Monarch Trophy. You're listening to Typha Radio, part of the Typha Sports Network. And welcome back here to The Zone here on Typer Radio, 8.33, 33 minutes after 8 o'clock. On the phone with us right now, Lisa Cannell uh, from the Typer Board. Uh, Lisa, how are you doing tonight? I'm doing well, Kenny. Thanks for having me on. Uh, not a problem at all. I, I know one of the things that has been a focus, I know every, usually we're all about football. Um, everything we talk about, everything we, we breathe, smell, eat, whatever, it's all about football. But tonight... Uh, it's a little bit of a different tone. It, it's kind of hard to talk about football when we've had the tragedies that we've had occur here in our state, uh, particularly the uh, the Gulf Coast and the Houston region uh, going through what they've done. I know a lot of people have reached out about Typha. What is Typha doing? Uh, and that's why we asked you to be on tonight to kind of give us an idea of what, you know, tell everybody what it is that Typha is putting together, how this has affected uh, uh, Typha as a league um, and what we're doing about what we can do for our people. Absolutely. Well, first off, you know, I just want to let everybody know that our thoughts and our prayers are definitely with those families that are affected. I mean, there's so many that have been touched by this storm, and, um, you know, we, we want to do whatever we can as a league to help support them and to help get them through this really, really challenging time. And then, of course, we think about the kids. It's, it's about the kids and trying to get them back to some form of normalcy in their lives, and, and we're, you know, maybe hitting up, what can we do to help? Um, with that being said, one of the ways that we um, have started at least implementing a way for people to donate is to go to the Typha store. If you go to typha.com at the top of the page, the Typha store, if you click on general fee, you can choose a donation amount, add to the cart, whatever you can donate, adjust the quantity, and then in the comment section, make sure that you um, list Hurricane Harvey Relief Fund so that we know to allocate that money to those organizations. Um, as I said, we're, we're sort of in the beginning stages um, as far as figuring out how do we best support these teams. Um, and then, you know, is it is it through equipment? Is it, is it through um, field? How do, we, how do we get them onto turf so that they can actually play this season? 
and if that's a possibility, uh, a lot of people have reached out about food or water or supplies, but 